Hello and welcome to Lynn TV, your local internet news station from Paphos. I'm Lucy Robson with the main news today. Macarios Avenue in central Paphos stood still for five hours today as 300 school children accompanied Mayor Savas Vergas along the shopping avenue on foot to promote eco-friendly transport. The event, one of hundreds taking place around the globe to mark Mobility Week, was the first of its kind in Paphos and organised jointly by Paphos Municipality and the Green Party. Mayor Savas Vergas spoke to Lynn TV about the need to educate the next generation on green issues. And while praising the event and recent upgrades in public school and airport transport, Green Party member Linda LeBlanc said that the problem is basic. There's a lot more people on bicycles now, which I think is very, very positive. But it's not a friendly place to either be walking in the center of the town or to be driving or having a bicycle. So we need to make the centers of the towns uh, a lot more people friendly. The walk was concluded with an art competition and a draw. The prizes? Bicycles for several lucky children. Residents of Ember, Trimethusa, Dala and Kisoniga are demanding action as wastelands are being used as sites for bonfires, for tyres and even disused refrigerators which release dangerous chemicals into the atmosphere. The poor relation, as usual, the words of Paphos political parties on the Cyprus Airways proposal to move its town centre office to the new airport. With next to no transport to the airport, critics say that it will make ticket purchase inconvenient for people living in outlying areas. The airport location would allegedly be cheaper for the national carrier to operate. The government has promised to upgrade facilities at the Pyrgos Deliria Medical Center with more staff and improved equipment. And Paphos General Hospital is calling for blood donations and has a particular need for blood type O. The clinic can be reached on 26 803 204. Finally, a friend to Kamaras residents has passed away. Mikalakis Rasidis died on Sunday in Nicosia, aged 73. Mr. Rossidis, the former financial director of the Leptos Group, had lived in Camaras and was well known within the community. He had been battling bone cancer for some time. That's all the news for today. Stay online with an interview with Stroom P artist Haralambos Epaminondo on the meaning of the legendary Saint George in recent murals. That's next on our playlist. Thank you for watching.